hello guys how are you all doing hope you are doing fine see today i'm preparing plantains this is porridge plantains and i'll prepare in the traditional way guys you can see this is plantains it's a little bit bigger than banana so guys i'll tell you a few benefits of plantains they are rich source of fibers vitamin a c and b6 and they contain minerals magnesium and potassium you can imagine that plantains also cures anemia it's also very good for weight loss because it contains less carbohydrate it boosts the immune system it promotes healthy brain function and it strengthens bones guys i have many friends that don't like to eat plantains I believe if they watch this video, they'll start eating plantains. Some people just put the meat inside the plantains, but I'm not sure this plantain will take long. So I have to steam the meat. For I will not cook it for too long, guys. I've already put onion. I just put a little bit of this green spicy. Those who are from other countries, try this method, guys, and tell me the results. So you can see I'm cutting the plantains really small. And I like it with a strong candor. This is how I cut it. It's really small pieces and that's how i like it and then some people will just put their meat inside the porridge like that but i have to uh, steam it a little bit so this is my crayfish and this is my pepper that i will use this is my green spices that i will use this is my fish i already washed it dry fish and this is jangsang i will use a little bit of jangsang guys do you know jangsang <laughs> Yeah, so I'll continue with the peeling process, guys. So, guys, how do you prepare your plantains? Or do you like plantains like me? Or do you know another method of preparing these plantains? Leave your comment at the comment section, guys. I would like to know other methods of preparing porridge plantains. And I'll put a little bit of bitter leaf in this, my plantains, guys. I forgot. If you don't have bitter leaf, you can use spinach. Yeah. I want this bitter leaf taste, guys. You know. I already put my meat on the fire. And I showed you what I will use for the plantains. And guys, I want you to share my video. Yes. Help me share, like, and subscribe. And write wherever you're watching me from, guys. I'll be happy to know where you are watching me from. So guys, I'll put the water on the fire. Guys, you know another method of preparing porridge plantains? If yes, guys, write it on the comment section so that I should also learn another method, guys. You know, we learn every day. Wow, so this is the last plantain. So this is our plantains. I'll just pour it immediately guys mm. good so that I should cook very well with the palm oil I don't really know the English name what's the English name of this guys if you know please write it in the comment section this is my crayfish do you know three corner spices guys is so good and so medicinal to cook with three corner spices they use it for achu they use it for many traditional meals you can use it for banga soup so i have it here dried no this is it so this one i don't know i have to wash it and just try to dry it it's so hard i don't know if i can succeed to grind it you have a good flavor so i will use my grinding stone because the things are not much if i grind i blend it now i'm not sure it will grind very well jang sang i don't like it much i just want a little bit just a little bit uh flavor of jang sang i don't want it too much so i also use ginger guys so i start the grinding my jang sang i peel the pepper so i grind them together now I'm in Africa guys <laughs> using my stone 
it's too small the, the the quantity is too small i don't want to blend it if i blend it i don't know it will not really blend well that's why you see me uh, using this stone because sometimes you don't really have much to blend so our plantains is boiling well i just pray for the oil to mix well guys Mm -hmm. All the African spices I have in this house, I've put this in this plantains today, guys. Delicious. Wow. So, I'm really afraid that it's much. Wow. I can get it. So, I put my salt. I will not put much because I'm sure that meat I put too much salt. So I'll put my dry fish. I'll put my dry fish, guys. I'll also put my meat. So you can see our plantains is boiling, guys. You can see our plantains. Wow. So that pepper, I was afraid I put two, I left one. I'm not afraid that it will be too hot because I put bush pepper. Bush pepper is also hot. So that is it. Boiling very well. Then I'll add my cream fish, guys. So this is the green fish. I'll put my crayfish before I, put, I add my GQ. Mm. I have to add a little bit of vegetable oil to make it taste better. Because I don't like the taste of our palm oil. Wow, the aroma is super, guys. Join us. So easy, guys. Mm. You see, it's good to taste it before you add your maggi. Then you know if it's okay. So I'll just add two maggi. Wow, this is good, man. This is perfect. Mm. Wow, delicious guys. So come on, let's eat plantain. So guys, I added this pepper that I did not grind. It seems as if the pepper is not too hot. I, I was afraid that it would be too hot. So I'll add my green spices last time to add. So I also added onion. So I just soup a little bit of bitter leaf. I think I'll add a little bit of spinach also. So guys, our plant base is ready. Wow. Ooh, looking so delicious. You can see the plantains. Let me show you. So guys, this is our plantains. You can see how delicious it looks. So guys, this is my orange plantains guys you can see it so now see me this is how we eat it you can use your fingers mm. you can use spoon you can eat anything that you like to eat with it's so delicious guys so prepare it and tell me the result so for those of you guys who don't like unripe plantains this is the best way you can prepare your plantains you can see how i'm enjoying it mm. So, nice. so after watching this video and knowing the benefits of mm. plantains hope you start eating it thanks for watching guys share the video love you all bye